Hi, my name is Jesse Blanchard with Goat and Yeti, and today I'm going to talk you through all the components you need to shoot 3D with a pair of red epics or red scarlets. So there's three things that we want to do. We want the cameras to talk to each other. So as we manipulate the controls on one camera, the other camera automatically follows. The other thing we want is the cameras to record their signals at the exact same time, or to be in shutter sync. And the last thing we're looking for is for those two signals to be viewable on a consumer 3D television. All right, let's start with the cameras being in master slave or talking to each other. So to my right, I have a pair of red scarlets on the Robert rig, and they're connected with the gig E cable from red. So that just plugs into the back of one camera and into the back of the other. Now, as I change the settings on this camera, the other camera will automatically update with those settings. Now, the next thing I want is for both cameras to be in shutter sync so that they're recording their signals at the exact same time. To do this, I need another piece of equipment and that is a sync generator. So I have one down here on the table. It's the Gen 10 from Aja. So this produces a signal which is sent to both cameras. To connect the sync generator to the red scarlets, we're going to use a pair of red 3BNC to 00 sync cables. You'll need two of these cables, one per camera. You want to connect the smaller end to the back of your scarlet. On the opposite end are three BNC connectors. We'll use the green banded BNC to connect to the sync generator. Here I have my Aja Gen 10. I've got one connected already. So here is the other end of the red sync cable. So I'll just take this one and connect it. I have output one and output two, one for each camera. So now we have our two Scarlets here. They're talking to each other. So as I control the settings on this one, the other one updates. They're also perfectly in sync. The next thing I want to do is to take the signals from each of those two cameras and I want to join them together. And I'm going to use another piece of equipment from Matrox called an MC100 to do that. So with the Matrox, it takes the SDI signal from both cameras, left and right, puts them into this box, and then it gives you a whole bunch of different ways that you can output that signal with an HDMI cable into your 3D television. And it also gives you some really cool additional controls. So if your cameras are off by a pixel or two, you can actually just push the buttons on the Matrox 100 to kind of get them a little bit better aligned, you know, to get that digital perfect alignment. So that's it. Those are all the components you need to shoot 3D with a pair of red epics or a pair of red scarlets.